Hello friends, welcome back to Azure 204, developing solutions for Microsoft Azure Lab 4. In this video, we'll talk about what is the task and how are we going to achieve the task. Okay, so that being said, let's begin the video. So Lab 4 basically talks about the Azure SQL database and Azure Cosmos DB. And it is very, very important from the exam point of view okay so i just want you guys to pay your full attention in this lab four okay so let's go through the lab scenario first it says you have been assigned the task of updating your company's existing retail web application to use more than one data service in microsoft azure your company's goal is to take advantage of the best data service for each application component after conducting thorough research, you decided to migrate your inventory database from Azure SQL database to Azure Cosmos DB. Okay, so primarily we are going to work with Azure SQL database and Azure Cosmos DB. And I guarantee that you will have some questions on both on Azure SQL database and on Azure Cosmos DB. If you guys want you can go through the dumps and then you can check yourself okay so we are going to complete lab 4 in six exercises because it's a bit long in exercise 1 we are going to create all the resources required for this particular lab in exercise 2 we'll import the data from git repository and we'll upload the data into the cloud storage in the sql database and in cosmos db will also validate the data okay in lab 3 we will be creating a dotnet web application that will make use of our resources and data that we created in exercise 1 and in exercise 2 okay in exercise 4 we are going to migrate sql data to azure cosmos db so that is the intention of our lab 4 so that will cover in the exercise 4 in exercise 5 we'll write lots of code and we'll access azure cosmos db by using dotnet code okay and in the last exercise we'll just clean up all the resources so we don't get charged i hope you guys are clear with the lab intention and the activities that we are going to cover before we dive into the practical session you need to have few things in hand before we start so first of all you need to go and download the github repository here is the url you can find the url in the video description and you also need to have vs code so that you can write code right and again you need to have this instructions url ready or handy in in your browser tab okay so thank you for watching and i'll catch you in the next video